tell you guys all my secrets, eh? Oh, so make sure you guys, yo, you better make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll tell you guys my name is jay kwan if you're a brand new subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your loyalty i'm gonna show you guys how to get to 10k on your instagram page in a year all right let me tell you what's up let's just get right into it when you want to get 10k on your instagram one of the things that i find works for me follow for follow when you were a small even follow for follow up to when you're in the big numbers but when you're especially just starting those are very important things to do what you can do this is what i do so i go through like popular accounts people that are certified people that have a large amount of following like 10k or anybody that usually has over 5000 followers around 5 to 7000 over 5 to 7000 followers i'll go through their following and I will follow their followers, hoping to get a follow back. Now you do these with accounts with people that have the same amount, or not the amount, sorry, the same type of followers as you. You need to make sure that this person's theme on their page represents the same as yours so that they will follow you back and that it's just not, it's not wasted time, but also that um, they will like your stuff. They have to like your content and what you're putting out. So I would say make sure you're doing follow for follow. Um, very important to do. My next thing is S for S. Shout out for shout out. When you do shout out for shout out, you are reaching a whole bunch of audiences, okay? If I post, get posted on somebody else's account that has 10K as well, that is, you don't know how many views they get on their story, but let's say they get 10K, they get 5,000 views on their story. That is 5,000 people that are going to see me that did not see me before or might not have had the chance to see me. Doing shout outs for shout outs is very important. Keep it limited so that people don't unfollow you because you're doing too much. Some people get too eager and they do too much. So just make sure that you're doing a certain amount a day or every few days so that your followers that are actually already following you aren't getting annoyed. So shout out for shout out Snapchat, Instagram is a very good way to build it up because you're getting your account seen by different types of audiences all around. The next thing that I say that got me, brand ambassador. Now, a lot of people don't realize that brand ambassador, you do not need to they think that, oh, somebody has to reach out for you or you have to do brand ambassador in person. No, you can do brand ambassador. Uh, or sorry, that you have to do brand ambassador online. You can do it in person. I did brand ambassador uh, in person and it gets you so many followers because you're networking with people from all over depending on the event that you do. I did brand ambassador from my local music festival. It was volunteer, so it was free. Everybody always thinks that you have to do stuff that is free, when you I, that is paid. When you are smaller and trying to get into the, that industry, the marketing industry, you need to make a name for yourself. You need to create your brand for yourself and you need to advertise yourself on your own. When you're starting off, it's like doing an internship. You gotta do it for free first and then you get the job. So when you're on the job, I'd be doing whatever my duties are, but if I saw that this person was kind of my vibe, they would kind of like my channel or they would kind of like my Instagram or my feed or whatever I go for, my theme, I made sure to give them my Instagram, have them follow me. Sometimes I'd follow them back if I like their stuff or sometimes I wouldn't follow back, that's all up to you, but they're still following you. I'd run a joke and be like, yo, no, you gotta follow me right now, fam. Like, follow me back right now. Like, I mean, hit that button right in front of me. I'd be like that as a joke, okay? But I'm being a little bit aggressive with it in a sense where I'm seeing myself get the follow. Music festivals are a great way to brand and bass um, or volunteer at and get your following up once you're that type of person to talk and put yourself out there and communicate and network with people and you might meet a new friend. So that's what, another way. Now I should be numbering those. That was number three. This is number four, commenting. When you see a post by people, comment. Just leave some fire emojis under there. Leave some heart emojis. Leave some, oh, yo, fire pick fam. Just leave something under there so that people can see what, so people can see your account. They see your username. 
so that they'll click it. Some people will be curious, so like your username, they'll click it and they'll see, and they'll go and look. That is free brand ambassador, I like free advertisement that you're doing for yourself by commenting alone. When you comment, they click your account, they look, they like your stuff, they follow you. You follow back if you want to, all up to you. Commenting is the easiest way to get your name out there without really having to do any work. Number five, your feed. It depends on what type of stuff you're looking for, but a lot of people like to follow somebody with a good feed. So if you look on my feed here, I'll insert it. I start from the very bottom. These are from when I first started Instagram, which was in 2012, my throwback pictures. Then it goes into dark, light, and then very light at the top. I have a theme on my page. So I go from the yes, dark to light. I go up and down, I change the moods. So you have different moods that are going through. You can also see the different seasons as you go through. Some of the time, sometimes I skip a season. But the most important thing is that I have a theme and my theme is yellow or like a neon yellow, but in that area, okay? Going all the way from top to bottom, you have some type of yellow even if it's not, if it's far apart, but you have some type of yellow throughout the entire page, all the way through. Try to keep other colors, but I have that so you can, you can look and be like, okay, he has a yellow feed, you can see that. So a theme, it can be important, but just a feed in general, making sure your stuff looks good, professional, is very important. Posting all over the place, it doesn't look too good. Because um, also if you wanna do online brand ambassador. They need somebody that their feed looks proper. It gets you more jobs. Number six, hashtags. Hashtags are very important. I use hashtags that are relatable to me. So any hashtags that are relatable to me or anything that I'm doing with my channel or with my Instagram, I put it there. The hashtag does not need to represent the picture, but there should be hashtags that are in there that are connected to the photo. I use the same hashtags under almost all my photos so that when I post and you look through that hashtag, because people do actually click hashtags and look. When you go and you look, you can see my, my account, my pictures multiple times because on my account, I'm using the same hashtags. So if I have 50 posts and I'm using the same hashtags for everyone, every time you look up the word influencer, wanted Toronto, let's say it says that. Every time you look, you're gonna see all my 50 posts. Even if there's 500 other people, you're still seeing my posts all the way through. Being 50 out of 500 is better than only being one out of 500. You see the difference? Because some people, they'll post one picture and change the hashtag, but if you keep the hashtag the same on all your posts, all your posts will go under that hashtag and you'll be able to see yourself. So, hashtags. Tags. Now, when you take pictures with your friends, your family, stuff like that, use tags. Because when people are snoopy, they go and they'll look in other people's fault, like tags, and they will see your account, they will see you, and they might follow you. Not might, a lot of the times they will follow you, some of the time, but I find that I'll get a lot through mutual followers. You will be able through there, you are advertising your account on someone else's account without them even knowing or without you even realizing that you're doing it. So if you take a picture with somebody else, make sure you use tags. If I take a picture of five other people and I tag all five of them, that is five accounts that I'm advertising my account on anytime someone else looks on their tags. So my account is being seen. That's what's up. Tell you guys all my secrets, eh? Oh, so make sure you guys, yo, you better make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I'm telling you all my secrets. The next thing is time. You got to put the time and the effort into Instagram. If you don't put the time, you will not get to where you need to be. I used to spend about three hours, two to three hours a day following people, commenting, liking people's posts. A lot of times liking multiple of their posts. Like, making sure that they are seeing who I am, staying connected. You have to stay connected with people and raise, because now that Instagram has changed the way it works, it's based on how much people view your account and view the stuff that you post. So if you don't connect with people a lot, you are always going to be getting a low liking, okay? I took a break from Instagram, which is my problem, is I'm not consistent enough on, Insta on Instagram, which is another thing I would say is consistency, because I don't post enough 
when I was getting to my 10K, I was posting a lot, but a lot of times I have a hard time passing my 10K, getting to like 10.1, 10.5, because I lose a lot of followers due to the fact that I'm not consistent enough. And then my likings are going down because people are not seeing my posts or connecting with my posts because now Instagram has changed the algorithm. So now it's based on who is actually looking at your posts, at who, what, like what they like. So if they're not liking my posts or I'm not commenting under their posts, then I'm not gonna see. After you have reached where you wanna reach to on Instagram, go get an app that tells you who your ghost followers are once you get to the point where you wanna be. It will tell your ghost followers, unfollow all your ghost followers, and that will bring your following down. Because I know you're sitting here wondering, oh, but your, follow your following is high and they're, they're matched. Exactly. That's not good. No. For a ratio, go through, unfollow all your ghost followers. Keep all the loyal ones. Get a really good app. I'm not going to recommend one because I'm not going to tell you what I do. And then just unfollow all your ghost followers and that will help you. So you see how I just told you all my secrets, eh? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Go and follow me. Most of the time I follow you guys back. Trust, I really do. I Most of the time I really do follow you guys back. But the ghost followers, remember what I told you, get on follow. But I follow you guys back for the most of the time. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for your loyalty. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking by. I hope this guy, this helps you guys out. I hope it gets you get to 10K and good luck. You don't know what Guan, your boy Jaquan's out. Shout boom! Why non-cutch, girl? Why non-cutch? Me like to brace panic. Me like to brace panic. Brace panic.